Okay, here's a little 12 inch RCA black and white television from 1981 that I just got through patching up. It uses the KCS 204 chassis, which is a solid state single board printed circuit chassis. These TVs are ultra common. It seems like at one time I was finding these every other day and I think RCA made about a million of these over the course of a few years. But anyway, what the problem was, when I got this TV, it would it would it worked, but the brightness was not that great on it. You had to crank the brightness control all the way up on it, and it still wasn't quite bright enough. So I've done some investigating and checked some components and really couldn't find anything bad, so I checked some voltages at the CRT socket and I discovered, I don't know how well we can see it here, but the cathode voltage was supposed to be 29.4 volts at normal brightness. Well, it wasn't quite that much. Or actually, it was a little more than than 29.4 volts. It, I couldn't get it quite down that low. So we trace back here and on the schematic and see it goes down to the brightness control through some other components. And I discovered this R304, as you can see, is 100k ohm, or in parentheses, 150k ohm, which means I used both values depending on the on the chassis design or whatever they were bad about changing component values for various runs of the chassis so that's what this is all about I'm sure well in this particular TV they had a 120 K ohm resistor and since I couldn't find anything else wrong and I've also seen this brightness problem on other RCA's like this I ended up experimenting with other types of values of resistors and I settled on a 43k ohm resistor that allowed me to get my voltage down to 29.4 volts thereabouts and now we have plenty of brightness that's wide open Unfortunately, the sad fact I know some people will probably get on to me for my method of repair, but sometimes you do what you have to do to, to get these things going again. Okay, here's a better view of the chassis. Here are your tuners, VHF tuner, UHF tuner, your speakers back there, picture tube or cathode ray tube or CRT, whatever you wish to call it deflection yoke. This is the main chassis. Filter capacitor for the power supply, horizontal output transistor, flyback transformer which looks like something you'd see in a tube type TV. This little stick thing here is the high voltage rectifier. Okay, so I'll put this thing back together and I'll let you see it play in its in its normal position. Oh no, you know you don't you don't wear Okay, here's the RCA twelve inch black and white TV in action. Since when since when do you think I don't wear enough of this? Well I close has a I much better picture on it now. Close. Close, close. Co Blow it up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, change um, channel. Um, I think this will make you do it now. I'll leave you right here. Who else is in here with you? Mm -hmm. Just let me. Well, I'll just show you a little bit. It goes all the way down the leg. I'll show you. What? What do you have to Traditional containers are. The way they work is. A loco moco for myself. Mm, uh, oh, yeah. Manager. Humidity. Cheapskates like you. you. I mean, words. Unusual punishment held out of school. I just look like copies of child. Have this connected to a channel master uh, digital converter box. This 
TV was given to me about, well, actually in 2009, just before the DTV transition by a 90-something-year-old lady. This was her kitchen TV, and, well, when everything went digital, naturally the TV stopped working, and I explained to her why her TV wouldn't work, and uh, despite all the TSA ads on TV, she actually didn't have a clue. What do you hear what I got on him? So I told her she could get a converter box and keep using it, and she said, no, I'm not going to spend that much money just to get this old black and white TV to work again. You just take it home with you when you leave. So it's been sitting here all these years, and I just now got around to fooling with it. The thing's filthy dirty. It needs a bath, but I'll do that pretty soon. But Okay, there you go, the repaired 1981 RCA 12-inch black and white TV. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. The first shooting is no small. Okay, as an afterthought, I'll turn this around and show you the back cover. Okay, here's the back of the set, a uh, model AFC 246W from 1981. Here you've got your contrast control, vertical hold, and horizontal hold, and our built-in rod antenna that one would use before the days of DTV. So here's our baling, our matching transformer to match the 75-ohm coax to our 300-ohm antenna input. Back in the early 90s, I used to get a lot of these 12-inch black and white TVs, and I mean, it seems like I was finding them all the time, and back then I could buy broken ones for less than five bucks and usually fix them for a couple of dollars and turn around and sell them for anywhere between 20 and 35 bucks. Back then, people would actually buy TVs like this. And back then, people didn't care. They just wanted something with a picture on it. And Now I'd probably have to pay most people to haul something like this off, but I still like them, so that's all that matters. Seems like today all everybody wants is the most modern 3D flat-screen TV. They don't, they don't care about owning a TV of this age, even if it was a color TV. They still wouldn't want it. Okay, I'm... For real, I'm gone this time. Thanks for watching and more later.